Hello and welcome to the final part of the Adventure Blanket Cow. This is part 10 which is the arrowhead strip. You can see why this stitch is called the arrowhead sometimes. Um, it's not as difficult as it looks but I'm going to go through each part of the process with you um, so you'll be able to work that. So I'm just going to go through the first section of repeats which actually isn't going to be difficult. I'll put all of the links to the Adventure Blanket Cow in the um, description box below. So if you're interested in finding out more, the sections are all, always free on the blog posts. And there's a little twist to work in this one, which a lot of people have really enjoyed. Okay, so obviously your blanket strip is going to be much bigger than this sample. Um, it's worked over 200 stitches. So we'll just pretend that this is the last row of the divider section um, from the, the previous section of the blanket. So for row one, we're going to chain one and turn, or turn and chain one, whichever way you prefer to do that. And we're going to half double crochet in the first stitch and each stitch across. So just a very quick reminder, half double crochet, if I come in just a smidge, a half double crochet yarn over, and so you hook into that next stitch to be worked, yarn over and pull through. So now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and that is your half double crochet completed. So we're going to do that in each stitch all the way along the row. And I'll meet you at the end of the row. So this is the end of row one. For row two, we're going to chain one and turn. And then we're going to single crochet in each stitch across. So this chain one does not count as a stitch. So we'll insert our hook into that first stitch. Yarn over, pull through, two loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through both loops. And we're going to do that in each stitch all the way across. So at the end of this row, you will have 200 single crochets. And I'll meet you when you get there. Okay, so that's row two finished. Row three, we're going to chain one and turn. And then we're going to single crochet in the first five stitches. So, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to chain one and we're going to skip the next stitch. But you probably want to have a good handful of stitch markers available for this because I recommend just popping a stitch marker into that stitch that you've missed that you're going to skip. It's going to make it much easier to find that stitch when we get to row seven. So then we're going to single crochet in the next four stitches. So we're skipping this stitch. So we'll single crochet in the next stitch and single crochet in the next stitch and single crochet in the next stitch for three and single crochet in the next stitch for four. And then we're going to chain one, skip one, pop a stitch marker into that stitch that we're going to skip. And we're going to repeat that all the way along. So we're going to single crochet in the next four. Then we're going to chain one, skip one and place a stitch marker in it. and single crochet in the next four stitches. And we'll do that all the way along. 
So we'll single crochet in the next four stitches. And we're going to chain one. We're going to skip the next stitch so we'll place a stitch marker in it. And then we'll skip one and we'll single crochet in the next four stitches. Chain one, skip one, place a stitch marker in the skipped stitch. All the way across until you've got four stitches left. And then we're going to just pop a single crochet into the last four stitches. So you work your way across that row and I'll meet you when you get to the end. So this is what we're looking like at the end of row three. Now rows four, five and six are just very simple single crochet rows. So I'll show you how to work row four and then you're going to repeat it for rows five and six. So we're going to chain one and turn and then we're going to pop a single crochet into this first stitch. and single crochet in each stitch and chain one space across. So you will have 200 single crochets by the time you reach the end of this row. So that's the end of row four completed. Now I'm gonna repeat row four two more times. So just as a reminder, we're gonna chain one turn single crochet in the first stitch and each stitch across so we end up with 200 single crochets. So that's row five completed and then we'll repeat that one more time for row six so chain one turn single crochet in that very first stitch and each stitch across. For 200 single crochets and I will meet you at the end of row six. So for row seven we're going to chain one and turn. Then we're going to single crochet into the first three stitches. And then this is where it becomes important to be able to identify these skipped stitches. So we're going to double treble into the skipped stitch for the next stitch marker below. So double treble, we're going to wrap our yarn three times. We're going to insert our hook across the front and the back loops of that skipped stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops on our hook, so we're left with four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through the next two loops on our hook, so now we have three loops. Yarn over, pull through the next two loops, so we're left with two loops. And yarn over and pull through all two loops on our hook. And then because this counts as a stitch and we need to keep the stitch count right on row seven, we're going to skip the next stitch from row six because that's effectively what we've just worked. And we're going to single crochet into the next stitch. Then we're going to chain one, skip this stitch. So we'll need to grab another stitch marker and pop it into the skipped stitch and then we'll single crochet into the next stitch and then we're going to double treble into the same stitch as the previous double treble so we're going to work back into this stitch with the stitch marker so we'll wrap our yarn three times We'll insert our hook 
across the front and the back loops of that skipped stitch. Wrap our yarn and pull through. Wrap your yarn, pull through two loops on your hook, so now you're left with four loops on your hook. Wrap your yarn, pull through two loops, so now you're left with three loops on your hook. Wrap your yarn, pull through another two loops, so now you're left with two loops on your hook. And wrap your yarn and pull through both of those loops on your hook. And once you've done that, you can remove that stitch marker from row three. And this is what your stitch is starting to look like. So you can see this stitch marker here is where the next arrow is going to sit. So the next step is to work another double treble immediately into the next chain one, uh, the next skipped stitch from row three. So we're going to wrap our yarn three times we're going to insert it into that skipped stitch from the front to the back. We're going to yarn over and pull through and then we're going to work that double treble. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. And then we're going to skip the next two stitches from row six because that's what these double trebles are. Remember we need to keep that stitch count correct and we're going to work a single crochet into the next stitch. Then we're going to chain one, skip one and single crochet into the next stitch. So because we're skipping this stitch we're going to pop a stitch marker in there and then we'll single crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to double treble into this stitch marker from the previous row three. So we'll wrap our yarn three times. We'll insert our hook. Actually, I'm going to remove that stitch marker because it's getting in the way. Wrap our yarn three times. Insert our hook into that skipped stitch. Wrap your yarn, pull through. Wrap your yarn, pull through two. 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 And then we're going to do a double treble into the skipped stitch for the next stitch marker along. And then we're going to skip these two stitches because they've been counted with the double trebles that we've just worked. And we're going to repeat that repeat all the way across. So just as a reminder, the repeat is single crochet in the next stitch, chain one, skip a stitch, mark that skipped stitch with a stitch marker, single crochet in the next stitch. Then you're going to double treble into the skipped stitch from three rows below to finish off that V. And then you're going to double treble into the skipped stitch for the next stitch marker. And then you'll repeat that again. So that repeat once more is single crochet, chain one, skip one, mark the skipped stitch with a stitch marker, single crochet, double treble into that first stitch marker, or that first stitch that's been skipped, and then double treble into the second stitch along that has been skipped because this starts the next V. 
and then you'll repeat that all the way along until you have six stitches remaining. The written instructions say seven stitches because this is the first of those seven stitches that we've just worked. So then what we're going to do is skip the two stitches from row six because these two double trebles effectively count as those stitches. Then we're going to single crochet in the next stitch, chain one, skip one and mark that skipped stitch with a stitch marker. Single crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to work a double treble to finish this final V into the stitch from the st with the stitch marker below. So we'll wrap our yarn three times, insert it into that same stitch, wrap your yarn pull through, wrap your yarn pull through two loops on your hook, wrap your yarn pull through two loops on your hook. Wrap your yarn pull through two loops on your hook. Wrap your yarn pull through two loops on your hook. And then we're going to single crochet in those last two stitches of the row. And this is what we're looking like at the end of row seven. So for rows 8, 9 and 10, they are all identical. So we need to chain 1, turn, single crochet in the first stitch and each stitch all the way across. For row 8, make sure that you also single crochet into the chain 1 space. You need to make sure that you have a count of 200 single crochets at the end of this row. And then for row 9, we're going to chain 1, turn, single crochet in each stitch all the way across. So we'll do that for row 9 and row 10. So I'll meet you when you come back after you've worked row 9. We're going to single crochet in the first stitch and every stitch all the way across. Then we're going to chain 1, turn and single crochet in the first stitch and every row across and I will meet you here once you have completed row 10. So this is what we'll look like at the end of row 10. You can see we've got those V's there that are coming through nicely. What you need to do for rows 11 to 22 is repeat row 7 which is where we created these V's. 8, 9 and 10, which are single crochet rows, easy peasy rows, three more times. So repeat rows 7, 8, 9 and 10, three more times. So you will have four sets of arrowheads stacked on top of each other. Just like that. And I'm going to show you how you would finish off that section. So we're pretending that you've just worked row 22. So row 23, you are going to chain one and turn. Then you're going to single crochet into the first three stitches. And then we're going to double treble into this skipped stitch from four rows below. So we're going to wrap our yarn three times, insert our hook into that skipped stitch, wrap our yarn pull through, wrap our yarn to pull through two, wrap our yarn pull through two, wrap our yarn pull through two, wrap our yarn pull through two. 
then we'll skip the next stitch from row 22 and we're going to single crochet into the next stitch and instead of doing our usual chain one skip one we're actually going to single crochet into this stitch because we're not creating any more arrowheads at this point and then we'll single crochet into the next stitch and then we're going to double treble into the same chain one spit um, the same skipped stitch that we've just worked the previous double treble in so I'm gonna remove that stitch marker and set my hook into that skipped stitch so that I get the front and back loops yarn over, pull through and work the double treble and then we're going to double treble straight into the next skipped stitch along from the previous rows And then we're going to skip the two stitches from row 22, the next two stitches, and we're going to work a single crochet in each of the next three stitches. And then we're going to double treble into the stitch, the skipped stitch that we've just worked, so we finish off that V. And then we're going to double treble straight into the next skipped stitch. So we're going to repeat that all the way across. So the repeat is single crochet in three stitches, double treble into the skipped stitch that you've just worked the previous double treble into. Then you're going to double treble into the next skipped stitch from the row a few rows below. You're going to skip two stitches from row 22 and then you will repeat again. So single crochet in the next three, double treble into the skipped stitch that you've just worked the previous double treble into, double treble into the next skipped stitch, skip the next two stitches from row 22 and repeat all the way across until you get to that last repeat and we're going to double treble into that skipped stitch from two rows below and we're going to skip the next two stitches and single crochet into the next three And then we're going to double treble into that final skipped stitch again. And then we will single crochet in the last two stitches. So that is how you would work row 22, sorry row 23. The final row is an easy peasy row, we're going to chain one, turn and we're going to half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. So yarn over and set your hook on the next stitch to be worked, yarn over pull through three loops on your hook, yarn over pull through all three loops. And you're going to do that in each stitch across so by the end of this row you will have 200 half double crochets.
And that is the fundamentals of how to work the arrowhead section of the Adventure Blanket Cal. I do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. If you do, please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, you can find all the information about this absolutely fabulous cal that I've run in collaboration with Ambassador Crochet in the description. If um, anybody has any questions or anything, pop them in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Take care. Bye.